Yo, yo, what's going on, YouTube? YouTube, can y'all see me? It's bright as hell out here, but uh, I think y'all can. But this your brother, KB Smooth Trucker 78, coming to you live here, I 76 East, Bound Turnpike, uh, 40 miles from Breezewood, PA Interchange. Uh, yeah, coming to you with a quick video. As y'all can see, what this video is probably gonna be about. But uh, your brother, first breakdown with Dart. So that's what this video is gonna be about. But first and foremost, shout out my higher power for waking us all up today. Whether it was a good, bad, ugly day, as you can see, I'm kind of, my day just turned ugly, but I'm still got a smile chick on my face. Um, just keep the faith, bro. Whether y'all believe like I believe, just believe in yourselves. And be safe out here, drivers. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say about that, yo. So anyway, so uh, let's get it in. So how are my drivers doing? What's y'all 20 out here? Thank y'all for watching, all my loyal subscribers. And um, yeah, so basically, one of my S cams on my trailer, I'm carrying like 47, not 47, 45, 700,000 pounds. And um, she worked fine. I did my pre-trip and I'm um, advising y'all drivers, new coming to the game. And even still myself, do your pre-trips. Don't just go around and kick the tires. I call it brake lights and tires. Make sure you get underneath there and check and everything. But she was running good. Made it all the way here, 300 something miles from Ohio to, she started smoking real bad. And I'm gonna get into this too. Check y'all mirrors, drivers. Don't get complacent out here with not checking y'all mirrors. I'm always looking at, I mean, I was looking at my mirrors. I thought it was the, the truck next to me smoking. Cause I just knew my truck was good. Then she started dragging. The truck started like lagging. I was like, cause I got a 10 speed and she felt like she was pulling extra weight. And I was like, and then I looked and the driver got past me. He's like, dog, pull over, pull over. Your truck about to be on fire back there. I said, what? And I looked like it was nothing but a cloud of smoke, like a volcano, y'all, like just erupted. Like it was, it was dangerous, y'all. But I love these culver sacks. Thank you, Turnpike, Pennsylvania, for these, for these culver sacks right here, because Thank God, like I said, I believe everything happened for a coincidence of reason. I'm not on the little skinny stretch of the road. I was able to pull pretty much mostly off the road. Um, I didn't want to pull too far while I'm over here and you end up with your drives or tra uh, trailer tires off the pavement. And that's another thing, drivers, never leave the pavement. I, I, I had to learn my lesson hard on that. Never let your wheels, especially your drive wheels, leave the pavement because you never know what this is this could be wet underneath this grass and anyway you're gonna lose traction now you got to get towed out all because you want to you know leave the pavement so that's just another friendly advice never leave the pavement driver so you can smell it too oh my god man it'll cool down enough but it didn't flat spot none of the tires i believe it's this wheel because there was more smoke coming from over here but you can see the slack adjusters all the way in and i actually have the brakes released right now on the trailer but it looks like the pads are still engaged. I don't know what's going on, y'all. They got road readies coming out here now. But I can see, because I even went around with my uh, my uh, hammer, and I tapped all the slack adjusters, and I tapped the drum. But one of these brakes are still fully engaged. I don't know which one it is, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to let the uh, road ready come out here and see what's going on. Because drivers, just because we on deadlines and on lows, do not risk it. Do not risk yourselves out here. And oh, I'm gonna tell y'all something too. Always put out your three emergency triangles. If you're gonna be broke down or more than 10 minutes by FMCSA law, and I don't know state by state because Virginia told me some different shit. Excuse my language, but anyway, just put out your emergency triangle. They're supposed to be like 100 feet. I didn't want to block the whole COVID sex, so I got one here, one there, and then I got one farther back. So that way, you see what I'm saying? If somebody does come speeding or not paying attention to me, they should see these warning triangles. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that's what we got going on, uh, ladies and gents. KB, first breakdown with Dart. So, that was FedEx, y'all, FedEx. And see how another driver, he actually pulled over. He was pulled over down there. He actually asked me was I'm all right. And shout out to my Snoop family, y'all. Um, there's a guy on there. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna name drop on there, but he know who he is. We talked this morning about the same situation, and here I end up in this situation, how drivers don't look out for another one of We quick to go jump on YouTube. I'm doing YouTube now, because I'm stuck out here for about an hour or two, waiting on them to come pick me up, or come out here and see what's going on with the trailer. But my company said I did a hell of a job. He said I got off the road in time, nothing caught on fire, I didn't cause no accident. And I take this job very seriously, drivers. I really do. When I'm behind this wheel, even my own POV at home, I don't play around. You see what I'm saying? 
because this is a dangerous drive. Look at that. You come around the curve, these cats are hitting about 90, 80, 90 miles an hour. Trucks too. You know, if you ain't governed like me and you coming down the incline, you're going to, if you ain't on the uh, Jake brake or engine, I call it engine brake because these new trucks are not a Jacob's brake, engine brake. You're going to be doing about good 75, 80 coming down there, even in a governed truck. So at the end of the day, pay attention, check your mirrors constantly. Like you ain't got to be like this the whole time, but just look every like one to two seconds or, or whatever. Just keep this is like, look, OK, boom, five seconds, boom, like something like that. Just keep your head. I was always told by my trainer when I first got my CDL with my first company that I always keep your head on the swivel, keep it on the swivel. So anyway, this is a quick, short video. Um. Like I said, your boy is safe. I'm Ari. As you can see, I'm alive. I'm walking. I just wanted to point out that, you know, be safe out here. So like I said, this your brother, KB Smooth Trucker 78. Remember, my family out here, your family out here. Stay safe, stay positive, and try not to let negative thoughts. Even this right now, I'm still smiling, and I know it's okay because I, I got off the road safely. Now I'm just going to chill. They're going to get more time on the delivery, all that good stuff. So all right, y'all be safe, be easy. This your brother, KB Smooth Trucker 78. I'm out. Peace. Yeah. I got off. Look. Y'all see that? I got off the road like a boss. Like a boss supposed to out here. Safety boss. But anyway, I thought that was just a little punchline to throw in there. Don't mind me, y'all. I'm just keeping my spirits up, y'all. Y'all be easy. Let me get in this truck. If somebody come flying down this turnpike and, like, try to, you know, try to cap the brother with that car. So, all right, y'all. Like I said, stay easy, stay breezy, y'all. One.